I know it's going to be hot here, okay? Yes. So looking back, we have now, we are now officially kicking off summer today. As of yesterday, the whole month of June, we are currently ranked as the third warmest on record. We've recorded above normal high temperatures every single day, except for on the 5th, it was 87. That's the only 80 degree high all June long. And on the 1st, it was 90, which was the normal high for June 1st. We've recorded two triple digit days, which were both records. If we record one more, we will be tied for the most 100 degree days in the month of June. And we could do that today. Yesterday, we were so close. We made it to 99 for our high. Today, I'm going 100 once again. Our dew points are a little bit lower today, so I think we're going to make it. We'll see lots of sunshine, winds out of the southeast, uh, up to 15, 20 miles per hour. Your feels like temperature back around 120 for Corpus Christi, 125 to 126 at times in Kingsville, 120 through Alice and Falfurious, 103 three at the beach. It is going to be a hot one. This high pressure dome, this heat dome, this ridge, it's really not going anywhere. So it is moving a little bit west into tomorrow where parts of the coastal bend of Texas, more so closer to the Victoria Crossroads in Houston. They're going to be on the edge of that high pressure, which could allow for a few storms to make it into the area. But the ridge is only going to increase and strengthen once again into the weekend. So I expect our high temperatures to potentially be making it into the triple digits at as we look ahead to next week as well. You will see that excessive heat warning in pink across the Lone Star State once again, including here in the coastal bend. But something different today is we are expecting severe thunderstorms to develop along this dry line, and they're going to kind of ride the edge of the stationary front. If it shifts a little bit further to the south, there's a chance we could see some of those storms as they weaken approaching the coast. But the risk of severe weather is going to stay along I-10 and north of I-10 with the greatest risk right there into West Texas, Texoma and the Texas Panhandle area. There's those storms developing 7 p.m. We'll have those storms firing up. Then they could develop into a line and if that happens, they'll last longer, but more likely an impact for Houston, less likely of an impact for us here in the coastal bend. But I do have a very isolated chance for a few showers to make it into the area early tomorrow morning, but don't count on it. Not really expecting any rainfall accumulation accumulation unless you live somewhere or you're traveling somewhere between Wichita Falls and Houston. Dangerous unsafe heat only going to continue triple digits on the board as we look ahead to next week. Barbara.